What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? good with y'all what's good what's good we're tuning in for another video man and today y'all see your wife calling I'm right outside but today man we're going to uh we're going to run a few errands i'm going to get the brake drum the brake drum man for big dolo so we're going to come back and pop that on and on uh, we got a little shower early in the morning but it's supposed to sun's supposed to come out man so it should dry up and then we're gonna hop in Big Dolo, probably drive it over to Lawless and stuff. Get y'all some turn up footage. Uh, since we got good axles in it, I went on a good brake drum, so I'm gonna go to AutoZone, get the brake drum. Then we got Hackett's supposed to come for John Jones. And uh, then we're gonna go about playing for 2022. So y'all stay tuned in, man. I'm gonna turn y'all back on. We uh, When we get back, well, I guess I'm turn y'all back on. We get back. I might turn y'all on the phone in. But anyway, man, I'm finna load the trash up in the back of the L150 to take it, and uh, I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute. So I'll stay tuned. All right, so got the brake drawn, and for now, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I got wife on the way. Bring my impact sockets, all that other stuff. Uh, cause Jesse, we couldn't find the jack. He got two on one on man. You can't find it. So I got to get this. Uh. I gotta get this out cause I don't know man. I don't know what happened. It like it just I don't know, it like something just popped it man. I, I really don't know what happened. So I wanna get it off and inspect it because if it's if it just need plugging, which I hope that what it is, I plug it. It's simple. But to the the way it popped, it sounds like it's it's a little deeper than that. But uh if all that fail, I have to get up on the hill and get the spare. So the wife calling them, man. Let me turn y'all back on. Man, y'all check this out, man. I'm about to head to the house. And uh, I heard the tide just pop. So I made it over here, man. I, was, I went far from Lawless, so I had came over here so I can jack it up. Man, oh, it like something just popped the tide, man. Something hit the tide, and, and I don't know. So now, man, we got to see what's to this first. I don't know what happened. I hope something in it, but it definitely, it just, I don't know, I heard it, but let me get this thing off, see if I can get this tie, and uh, we're going to check that out. All right, y'all, wife just brought the pack, so we're going to get this thing off, and then I'm going to show y'all what it looking like, so we'll see what happens. I want to know. I told her to bring my tie plug too, just in case. But uh, I'm going to zip this thing out right quick and turn y'all right. Well, never mind. I found the problem. So I'm going to have to go find the tie, man. The spot I called, they ain't got now. They ain't got no tie. I'm going to be messed up. But right there, it's separated. The tie separated, man. It just dry rotted. So it just separated on its own. Had enough. But I can grab this spell off on the deal. For now, I'm going to get me a tie. I might drop that. So, uh, I don't know. I'm going to call around first. If I can find me one, I'm going uh, to go ahead and just take this and go get one. But, y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all getting this tie down, man. I'm trying to prop y'all up, but it don't want to work. I'm going to have to use this spell for today. And... I'm getting the tire ordered tomorrow, man. I hate, you know, these different size tires. Folks don't be keeping them in stock. So we're going to throw the spell on there. It'll get up through the day. I parked this thing. Go hop in the money, Carlo. 
the white car and shoot and keep it rolling go down there and pay for it get my tie everything be cool so there it is it probably need some air in it nah it good shoot we in the game all right so i'm finna put this thing on put this one on the back we'll get the tie tomorrow see we'll be back rolling man small thing to a giant ain't nothing still happens so uh let me get this chain and i'm uh we're gonna get to the house throw the drum on the sun is supposed to be coming out in a few minutes yeah man we'll hop from big dolo probably pull back up over here so y'all stay tuned so we made it back got the spell on went, a, went ahead and ordered me a tie so we got that done it'll be in tomorrow we picked up wife blower motor relay which been there for some days i get ready to put the heater box in so we got that now the day i was doing the video i couldn't think of what it was called for. i was trying to tell you I, it, my mind was blank but then after i turned the camera off he hit me well after i had finished the vlog i like it's a blower motor relay so we're gonna add that to her collection all right here I'm going to take all this stuff, man, let Aunt fool with it. I'm going to drive her car down there and let Aunt do that. I got other stuff. I got other stuff shaking. Receipt. I need that. Plug kit. Which I didn't need. I will keep the new car. Go somewhere. I'll hop in that car. Or I'll hop in uh, John Jones. This is the quicker to get out. But what we about to do, I already got Dolo jacked up. I got the rotor. I say rotor. Brake drawer. Bad boy, here, good boy. 23 pounds. He thinks 23 pounds. But I'll be all, uh, I'll be doing away with these soon, man. When I find the right kit I want, I'm gonna go ahead and put dead brakes on it since I done put, I done touched everything else in that rig. Alright man, I'm gonna put that much money in it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna go ahead and uh put the rear disc brakes on it now car. And ride it until it breaks. I when I bust it, then I go ahead and get an 8.8. I want no nine inch. It weight. It's weight, man. If you ain't got nine inch power, no need for a nine inch. That's what I say. People say uh some people say uh Go ahead and do it one time. You upgrade. Well, I don't plan on upgrade. I'm not everybody else. Be honest with you. I don't get caught up in that stuff. I'm honestly not like everybody else. People be like, yeah, every car guy ain't the same. I might be one of a kind, but I don't get caught up in all that. When I do my bills and I and I accomplish what I had set out to do and plan, it is what it is. I don't care who fast. I'm not changing my car and going to go sp spend another heap of money to go try to beat somebody else. That ain't what I do. Pat, I'm beyond that, so what this car is is what it is. For me to change something on this car, the drive train wide, it'll have to tell. It running good, I ain't changing nothing. So, like I said, if uh, you ain't got eight, four, nine inch power, ain't no need for a nine inch. They, they heavy. They is heavy. They some good, they some great rear axles, uh, but a 8.8 .8 can, a 8.8 .8 can hold, it can hold some power. They can hold a good little bit of power too. Trust me, I know some in some, I know some 8.8s in some mid four second car. More than a, more than a few too. So, they can hold some power, trust me. And Big Dolo definitely ain't going no mid four nothing. So, <laughs> Not in it, not on their best day or in his dreams, it ain't doing that. So you know, we good. But get that painted up. It's probably gonna be my last brake draw I might get. At least that's the plan. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get the real disc brake kit, which is uh, I said that's the easy part of stuff. Oh, uh, that's the that's the easy part. I can get a real disc brake kit, probably a real real good one, about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. Get it put on, might be out about two twenty five hundred, depending on where you go, who doing it. So, I mean, that's that's the easy part of stuff. 
at least at least to me i mean everybody different but at least to me that's the easy part of it and that nice little coat of black paint on there I ain't, I ain't doing multiple coats. Just doing this one. Just to keep it from resting, really. And uh let this dry. Gonna pop it on. Pop it on big dolo. Then we're gonna dry this thing to lawless, man. Cause when I had Lil said sun popping out here and they'll road dry. So I'm gonna try the thing to lawless, see if I can get one of them guys, or get just, get just to uh, hold the camera. And I turn the thing loose one time. Cause I'm about to get some new tires, so I'm gonna turn the thing loose. Let it eat one time, and then uh, we'll probably come back home. Cause I need to see when my package is coming for John John. But uh, we're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna get it on the car. Cause y'all know I beat the mess out of the other one, but I'm gonna turn y'all back on after I get that done. Stay tuned. We got that off. Uh, that thing should be about dry. Don't take long. I got my torque wrench out. Torque these things down. These vehicles, I was just looking up, looking them up. They usually like a hundred foot pounds. I mean, but it really, it really based on how heavy the wheel is too. So I might go 140 on the um on the little nuts like they they usually set for gm trucks and stuff gm truck use a bigger the wheel and tire combo usually heavier so i might go 140 or something like that on there but i'm gonna snug them down this time like i said i'm gonna make sure i torque these things down and everything really good to do and then something about this milwaukee if you want to know guaranteed 100 foot pounds all you gotta do is put it on setting number one. Setting number one is set to 100 foot pounds. It won't go past that. But, you know, let this, let's, man, let's go see if it's dry. It, that thing came off this time, man. The brakes were let out too too much. I thought something had came loose because the, man, y'all saw in the last vlog, it got real hot again. But imagine, man, they still, the brakes still were let out too much. So, in my mind, I'm like, Dolo's still doing what he's doing. The brakes lit out. Yeah, it's dry. It don't take long. So it's dry. Pop this back on. Nice little layer of paint. And then we're going to torque this thing down, man. That axle looks so good, boy. That, the Moser axle, boy. Them things look good. But we're going to get this thing put on. And I'm going to, uh, we're going to head over to Lawless. So y'all stay tuned. Alright, so we're getting these things torqued down. I just did that one. So we over here with it. Say 140 foot pound. It is. Get that one. Dang in gear. Check the other side too. Good to go. I'm gonna take the other side, then we're gonna roll. When I turn y'all back on, uh let me get y'all man. When I turn y'all back on, it probably it probably gonna be just uh the turn up. Cause I ain't really nothing to film over there. I'm just gonna go over there because Jesse got the night of strip. So next clip y'all see, man, we should be turning this thing loose. Then we're gonna come back to the house, man. I'm gonna get this thing covered up. So I'm gonna uncover this. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go turn it up and come back to the house. Then hopefully the parts be done came. So y'all just.
All right, y'all. Got back from Lawless. Got Big Dolo put back up. And man, yeah, man, it was just nice little day. Nice little day, man. Been cloud cover most of the day, but you know, did what it is, man. We got everything accomplished. We had a little mishap, a little flat tire on the L150, but like I said, it wasn't nothing major. Still happened. But we got uh, we got the axles in yesterday, and now. We in there. I had to drive it, man. I ain't put the GoPro. I should have put a GoPro in the car just to drive. But um, it got the wobbling. It got a, a little, a little wheel balance. So I feel like a finish everything. I'll be perfect wheel balance. But and we're gonna go get the alignment now. We got all the wheels torqued like they supposed to. Or uh, new drum on there. We in there. Shift the boat it down to the floor flush. Oh, that's the other thing I gotta do, man. I ain't, I ain't finna do it today, cause now it's starting to cool off. Well, it been cool all day, but it gonna start cooling off, and uh, me and wife are probably gonna go do some Christmas shopping too. So, but um, that's the next things I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna go ahead and put that cover on, the shift the cover on, finish that up. I gotta take the handle back apart. Uh, I'm gonna butt connect the wires together for the tram brake and loom it up, so all that's good, and then. I'm going to finally take that, take the TV out, put the screws in the side of the TV so it'll stop sliding out. I won't have to be taking the TV out every time I take off, man. Then I can just be listening. I can just listen to my music and call it a day and all of that. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow, probably. If it well, it's supposed to be raining. If it don't rain tomorrow, that's what we doing. But man, y'all got season turn up footage, man. We cut Dolo loose. That bad boy, nasty man. Hey, I had to get out of it, man. Like that thing treat 26s. Like a 15, man, you, it, it'll 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 burn them off until you get off of it. on motor. Like no nitrous needed on straight pure horsepower. That thing ain't nasty, man. But I was talking to Jesse while I was over there, man. We probably gonna clean the wiring up on the hood, y'all. I mean, I don't like the way it looked, but you know, getting together, trying to run, getting it dialed in. That's how it would. But uh, probably gonna have that coming. Like he said, they're gonna be a job. I don't know how long it's gonna take, y'all. I can't say they're gonna be a little uh two three day turnaround it might be a week couple of weeks or whatever cause they basically rewiring everything basically gonna have to be just hook everything back up all over again but i'm gonna get that done cause i want it nice and neat on that hood i want the i, I love when you look on the hood all you see is an engine you're like where the boxes where the headers and like this was saying too and me and rick ben talked about this uh rick put me on game with this too man you take your stuff and put it in the inside of the car, it lasts longer, man. Cause the moisture and stuff from being on the outside, then it starts sweating. It's just like anything else, man. You set a bottle of water out, anything that generates heat or something like that, and it get hot, or if it's super cold, it'll sweat in the inside and it messes up, and you wonder, hey, why my MAD box going bad? They're fast, and I just got it. Moisture does get in them boxes. Rick seen it firsthand. He done took one apart. It happened to him, so. I'm going to put all that stuff on the inside, all my electronics, which I ain't got nothing else to hook up no way. So now that can be done. I got all the electronics I'm going to have on the car. That can be done. So Big Dolo uh, really finished with the exception of the adjustable uppers and lowers. And that's just because he said I needed it. I wasn't planning on it, but said I needed it better. I'm going to get it. And uh, really this brake, man, that's done. But that stuff not drive train. I mean... Uppers and lower suspension related. It's not drivetrain related. So drivetrain done. So uh, yeah, they're gonna get it, man. They're gonna get it for this video. We back, we right back at it again tomorrow. So appreciate y'all. Catch y'all later, BCG. We out.